<laughs> so, this is Nigel Olson. I'm here at a board of trustee meeting today and I ran into this young woman, Ashley Warren. Graduated last year? Yep, May of 2019. May of 2019. Now works at Livingstone College. This is her first interview. So we're gonna ask you a few questions. So Ashley, okay. tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm 23 years old. I have a six year old. I love to talk. I, um, I've been adopted twice. Um, I'm originally from Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Um, been to Salisbury since eighth grade. Um, yeah, um, I pretty much love the school. Didn't start out that way. I wish I would have had this mindset as a student, but um, I'm glad I have it now. So it takes some time to grow, right? Yeah. So you mentioned the fact that uh, you recently graduated, but you've been adopted twice. So tell me about that. That has to be mm -hmm. a challenge within itself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's um, the first, um, I was from 2 to 10 years old. We got split at 10. Then I came to the mother I have now at the age of 14. Um, I found my birth mom actually two years ago, so it was pretty wow. neat. Um, it, it's very challenging it is. It leaves you with that consistent thought of who do I look like? Um, who's my family? Who can I relate to? You know, you know, you get that consistent right. urge and stuff. Right. But. So how has that prepared you for who you are now and coming to Livingstone and how you've grown over that period of time? Um, it's done a lot. It's disciplined me. It's um, helped me have more of a consider consideration in my thought process. It's taught me also, it's brought me closer with God of more things, of everything. Okay. And um, it's helped me get a second chance with my daughter, what, how you should do things. Okay. Now you mentioned that uh, you wish you had had that mindset coming in. So what mindset did you have and how has that changed? Um, the first, the mindset I had first, the cliche, I wanted to, had no school spirit consistently, uh, everything was just living stone as a whole's fault. It was, um, I didn't nothing. I was so worried about what everyone else, including staff, faculty, the school wasn't doing. I wasn't thinking, what am I putting out? What am I doing to change as a student? Cause I mean, like just an example, for instance, if it, when it comes down to maybe trash or anything, I promise, even as an employee, I'm not throwing trash out there. So you see what I'm saying? Well, I didn't think about that. So now it's helped me realize and be able to relate to the students because I can relate to their attitude of wanting to instantly not take responsibility and blame, you know, the school. So I can relate to that semi, but then I'm also able to bring them to my side of my thought process and say, hey, but if, you know, you probably have some peers that might, you know, that are, you know, maybe you should tell them not to throw stuff around and maybe. So it's helped that. So you're close enough to it that you can see it from both sides now. So mm -hmm. you gain a little bit of maturity to oh, see the other yeah. side that you didn't see then and maybe help them be able to see it. Oh yeah, especially grade wise, balance wise, you know, and that's the number one thing I've learned. Students instantly have a problem with balances, but no one thinks, you know, we sign these papers telling them, promising we'll have this money, but what are we honestly doing? To, are we getting jobs? Are we out here trying to get, no, we just expect it to disappear. Right. Then come time for the graduation, we're knocking ready to kick the president's door down. Right. So I'm able to help students now jump on it rather than bash them like, hey, you should have been, no. Hey, look, you there, it's a paid internship you should join. Or hey, I know this place is hiring. Hey, even if I could become, uh, find them Ubers that, cause I'm good, I have good relationships with a lot of different programs, people, so I'm able to pull strings. So if it's anything, I can help with the students that I'll get from being younger and closer to their age right. than anyone else I try to do. Okay. So tell me about your role here at the school. So again, you graduated in May of 19. And now you're employed at your alma mater and you're doing some great work and we've already great. connected on social media. So tell me about your role and what is it about your role that you're excited about? Um, well, I am one, the radio personality for WLJZ 107.1. And your name is? My radio name is Mooch, Mooch. like M-O-O-C-H. Yeah, here's Mooch, y'all. Yes, Mooch, <laughs> I, I love that name. I think it's, it tickles me, but um, I'm a radio personality. I'm also the brand ambassador. 
I'm also our director, well not director, manager, let me not tell my boss that, mm -hmm. the manager of social media, so I control all of Livingstone's official social media accounts, their Twitter, their Instagram, and their Facebook, mm -hmm. alongside my boss, Kimberly Harrington. Mm -hmm. but, um, and I'm able to display ideas or programs, events that's happening on campus for the students and for the community to see. Mm -hmm. So my whole pitch for getting this job was being the bridge between Salisbury and Livingstone, because I'm from Salisbury, mm -hmm. so to be that bridge. So it's been working out, being able to tell, because my biggest thing was telling the students where the locals, because that's what they call us, people who are from Salisbury, what? go here at locals. So being able to tell them the locals' point of view and vice versa, being able to tell the locals the students' point of view. And that's been good to be able to do. I can tell them, hey, as a student, we come here, we pay money to go to school here. You know, we don't want to have to come and do a trouble or, you know, we don't want to have to worry about being harmed. And then the same thing vice versa, you know, as a local, you know, we're from here, we love the place we're here. You know, we don't want to feel consistently bashed about our city because, you know, the number one thing students say, right. students say are, oh, y'all don't have nothing here, or y'all are crazy, you know, it's this crime rate. It's, it's anywhere, it's just like any kid. You consistently do bad, you don't want to keep hearing that. You, we know that, we're trying to change it. So the truth of the matter is, my wife and I graduated from here 45 years ago. Really? Right, we met here as freshmen at Livingstone College. Wow. There's always gonna be, there's nothing to do here. The truth of the matter is, is what you make out of it. You get so a So if you stone. put something in it, and you get engaged, when you get involved, there's a whole lot to do. Right? It is, it is. So, what are the radio stations' call letters, or how can people listen to it if they want to? Our call letters are WLJZ, 107.1 FM. If you are in the, North, not North Carolina, because we just got a new tower, but um, if you're not in the area of Salisbury, mm -hmm. then you can get it on the TuneIn app, like T U N E. I am tune in on your app store or Google Play store and it's free. You just download it and go to the search bar, type in WLJZ 107.1 FM and you'll be able to get it. And we're actually the only college radio station that has an FM channel. Uh, in this area maybe. Well, in, in North Carolina. Area. North Carolina. Well, we'll talk about it more. We'll talk this. about it. We'll talk about it more out of this. All right. I'm gonna say, so this is Mooch right here. Competition. And so Mooch, I'm not going to give you the competition right now. Yeah, so okay, don't give him no clout. She's <laughs> a radio personality. She manages social media. She's very engaged. She's a recent graduate. She has a great smile. She's engaging. Glad to have the opportunity to sit down with her for a few minutes for her first interview. First can, ever. Can you all believe I that? want this too. This is yes. amazing. So we're going to post this so people can see it. So how would you like to wrap this up, Mooch? I would like to wrap this up with telling everybody stay motivated. It is Monday, stay motivated. And you got anything motivated to tell them either? He's a, he's a, he talks too, y'all. He gives motivational sentences so too. They already know this, so they know about that. Oh, so, so today, today is hump know. day. Today is hump, oh it today is. Today is it's hump, hump day. day. Today yeah. is hump day, everyone. Have yeah. a great day and listen to the radio station. So my motivational word for the day is A-G, D-A-Y-A-G. That's my license tag. D a G D A Y A G. What that stands for is, is another good day above ground. Because if you're above ground, you got another opportunity. That's another blessing. That's another blessing. So, thank you all for tuning in. This will be on YouTube very shortly in this conversation with Mooch at Livingstone College. Over me. and out. <laughs>